Hi, welcome back to Moose and Chemistry. We're going to do electron configuration today on the element Xeon. It is atomic number 54, and it has an atomic mass unit of 131.29, but I'm only going to write 131 in there. So let's look at the pin. That's the PEN first. So we have 54 protons. To be electrically neutral, we would need 54 electrons, and then we would need 77 neutrons. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Remember our S has two electrons. Our P can hold six, D can hold 10, and F can hold 14. So we're gonna do our electron configuration first. So we start with the diagonal rule. We go 1S, and we put our two electrons in. Then we do 2S. Then we're gonna do 2P6, 3S2. And then we're going to go 3P6, 4S2. Then we're going to do 3D10, 4P6, and 5S2. So now we should probably go and count these electrons to see how we're doing. All right. So now let's look here. We've got 2 and 2 and 6 make 10, 2 and 6 make 20, 30. 36, 38. We're at 38. So we're going to do 4D10 next. And 5P, I think. So 4D10 would give us 38, give us 48. And 48 plus 6 is 54. So it would be 5P6. Okay. So that's the electron configuration. We don't go to the 6s because we ran out of electrons. All right, now let's do our orbital notation. That's Hund's rule. So our 1s has an up arrow and a down arrow. Our 2s has an up arrow and a down arrow. Then we go 2px, 2py, and 2pz. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 3s, 1 and 2. 3px, 3py, 3pz. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 4s, up and down. Okay, now we're going to go. 3d squared minus y squared, 3dxy, 3dyz, 3dxz, 3dz squared. Count 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, then we ran a space, so we're going to go down here. So we're going to go 5s2. So we're up and down. And then 4d10. 4d uh, squared minus y squared. Uh, 4dxy. 4dyz. 4dxz. 4dz squared. We're going to go 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Then we're going to go 5px. Five 5py. Five 5pz. Five 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So that's our orbital notation. Okay, now our noble gas notation, which is next. Okay, our NGN. So, Xeon's noble gas notation is this. It takes care of all that. So we would just simply write XE in there and close the bracket. And then our quantum number notation, which would be N, L, 
M, and S. So, xenon is in uh, period 5. All right, so a bit of 5 there. It's in the P block, so it's going to be 1. And then when you count them, it's indium is minus 1, 10 is 0, antimony, SB, is 1, trillium is minus 1, iodine is 0, and XE would be plus 1, so it would be 1 and 1. And notice that the last arrow here is down. So it's going to be 1 half negative. And that's it for this lesson. You guys be snarly, and we'll see you back here at Moosin Chemistry.